So here we go. This is what boxing is all about. It promises to be an absolute cracker. Ronnie Heffron looks all of his 22 years. Is he ready for this, Barry? Well, it's a big step up, isn't it, really, for him now? You know, thrust into championship class against a, a very good and powerful champion with, with a very similar style. They both like to go forward, they both like to throw heavy shots. Both ABA champions as well as amateurs. The feeling is that Hefron has the better skills, but so often, Barry, he lets the devil within take over in him. Yeah, I think when he, when, when he works, and if he can work behind his jab, he's a better fighter. But a good left hook there already from Vassell. Well, anyone who worried about the year-long absence for Vassell, he looks absolutely ripped. Not a millimetre beyond the muscle. You know, just a question, maybe as the fight progresses, Barry, when he generally tends to take over, will he have enough in the tank to do it this time around? Yeah, so it was always a question, isn't it, when the fight has been off for such a long time? It all depends how he's been living that 12 months off. You know, he looks in tremendous shape. Um, and we'll have to wait and see, I guess. But a good sign for Heffron is Vassell has been hurt in the past. Yeah, that's right. Lee Purdy caught him with a big right hand, uh, I think, in the, the seventh uh, round of their uh, fight for the vacant title uh, a couple of years ago. Purdy couldn't quite put him away, ran out of time at the end of that seventh, and Vassell rode the wave and came back to outpoint Purdy, who, of course, has gone on from strength to strength. He's on the cusp of uh, international honours himself. So that was a good win. This is third defence of that title he won tonight. Good left hook there from Heffron. Vassell took it well, but it was a nice cracking little left hook. Well, it will take off, but it, it sort of concentrated fury at the moment. Vassell letting fly with the hooks to the body when he gets in close. And Heffron perhaps letting him do that early on. Yeah, Heffron can't load up because what will happen is just what happened there. Vassell will dip, see the shot come in and come back with his own little sharp counter. So Heffron has to be sharp without trying to load up too heavy-handedly. Trying to counter with a left hook a couple of times there. Heffron is where he is focused. 100%. There goes that left hook again. He's looking for that again and again. Yeah, good shot. He landed with that note three or four times in this round. He just... Not to get carried away, stick behind that jab. He's been boxing well in this round so far as Ronnie Heffron. You just sense Heffron's using up a bit of energy, and it's nervous or otherwise, but trying to control things. Again, that left took almost on the break, as it were, as they separated. So perhaps that's something that Arnie Farnell and Heffron have been working on, something they've spotted. Tight first round, but... Heffron will be pleased with it, I suspect their corner will. Yeah, it was a close round, I just favoured Heffron. I think his work was slightly cleaner, especially towards the end of the round. But it's going to be that sort of fight, isn't it? Anyone's fight very close. Well, there's no doubt that when the pace drops, that, who's that going to suit, Barry? Well, I think, but by what I've seen so far, I think it might suit Heffron. He's using that jab more. The, the, the punch he never used at all in his last fight against Peter McDonough. And, you know, it made a hard fight of that of that contest. So this time he's using his jab. And I think that'll be the key for the win. The affable Bob Shannon, who sort of clenched his fists after the handshakes with the opposite corner just as the introductions were being made. And he's as up for this as Denton Vassell is as we head into the second. Get some good jabs there from Heffron. It's obviously something that he's worked on from his last fight, and it's paying off for him at the moment. Yeah, that's much, much better, isn't it? There was two of them, accurate and hard to stop Vassell in his tracks. And certainly we spoke to Arnie Farnell earlier on, and he said is, if he can quell the, the fire and the anger and just box, then this is a fight he should win. But you suspect there's going to be bumps on the road along the way. Well, yeah, and I think, importantly, against someone like Vassell, who is a sharp puncher, and, and, you know, he works really well, he's 
throws a lot of shots when he gets in close. You have to stay relaxed, even if you have loading up against Vassell, you'll see that coming and, you, and then you'll pay. And there's the left hook again. You sense that Heffron has the upper hand in speed too. And that's certainly telling early on, will it as the fight progresses? It's worth bearing in mind, Vassell out for a year, Heffron has only ever been eight rounds, mate. Yeah, but he's had two hard, you know, two eight rounders, one after the other against Peter McDonough. That'll stand him in good stead. And I think. Um... And now the hooks are winging away. They're up close quarters. I, I must admit, I wondered how long it was going to be before tactics and the rule book just got slung out the ring. I, I think your answer's here. They're already only just through the second. Yeah, punch for punch stuff that wasn't it. I just, I just again. Heffron kept his hands up nice and high, and I think you know, his punches showed more maybe than Vassell's, but Vassell's still, still looking for the counters, and lovely lateral movement there from Denton Vassell. Lead right hand, two of them as well. A cheeky punch, that. They always say that's almost the, the insulting punch for a pro to throw. If he can land it, it almost makes a statement. And Heffron did it twice. Well, the crowd, and plenty of them here. Perhaps a, a few thousand more than maybe Vassell and Heffron might have expected had they topped this in their own right. But there's no doubt this is a bout that deserves to top the bill. Another big left hook from Heffron. Yeah, both landed simultaneously there with left hooks to the body, but Heffron finishing with the left hook at the top. He's boxing really well, Heffron. I, you just sense he's having to work really hard to get these results right now. Well, he is, and the rounds are still very, very close. You just maybe edge towards Heffron. I think he's had the... just the slightly cleaner work. A nice jab there from Denton Vassell. Well, end of the second, and there was some good work from Heffron. I, I thought he took that again, Barry. Yeah, he did. I think he won that round clearer than the first. Again, showing that when they were punch for punch stuff. Vassell landed a nice left hook to the body. Heffron coming back with his own little right hand. And that was, this was the sort of fight we expected, wasn't it? Like a, a showdown, a gunslinging contest. And you sense that's the sort of fight that Vassell wants. There's quite a few meaty left hooks of his own to the body. Usually the second half where he's, his strength and his power tends to come through. Well, plenty of people and he'll be tuning in for this guy at later on, Andrew Fintoff. Pro debut, Barry, well, it's maybe a couple of decades ago when you were in his shoes, what will he be feeling? Well, nervous and also very, very excited. You know, it's a thing you've trained for for months, you know, the anticipation, the highs and the lows of your training camp. So, you know, this is where it all comes to fruitation, so it's a anticipation. All the hard work leads up to this moment for Flintoff later on. Stay tuned. So, the right hand, cheeky from Vassell, landed. Well, they call him Achilles, and with that physique, you can understand why. Does Heffron have a dart for the heel? He's certainly in front so far. Well, I just think Vassell needs to keep moving his head, doesn't he? he needs to keep rolling those shoulders a little bit like that. He just missed with the left hook, but that's the sort of work he needs to do. Yeah, you're right, but there was, there was one that sneaked in uh, below the right elbow there as well. A bit more movement. There again, you can see he's looking for that left to the body, Vassell. I think he's just stepping it up this round. He might have been read the right attack there by Bob Shannon at the end of the second. Trading jabs in centre ring. And also, this is where Heffron needs to do a little bit of feinting. A little feint, a little half a step back just to draw the lead of Fassell, draw the attack, even falling short and encounter with his with a sharp right hand that he's been displaying tonight. Again, Heffron just guilty of loading up with that left hook. Slightly overdoing it, isn't it? He, it worked early on, and either by design, plan, or because it works, he's, he's stuck to that. Just needs to go back to working behind the jab, Heffron. Well, he, oh, good shot there yeah. by both fighters. I think Vassell's carried the, yeah, the just, more weight. Just backed off Heffron there, didn't he? I think he, fe he felt that. 
And already some marking around uh, Ronnie Heffern's left eye. Yeah, just a bit puffy under the eye. Nice uppercut there from Vassell as well, who's just starting to get a foothold in the fight. But he's drawn Heffern into close quarters, haven't he? That's what he wants him, even though Heffern likes to fight that way. I think it, it has suited Vassell in this sort of uh, atmosphere. Yeah, there's a, there's a sort of quiet confidence about Vassell, isn't there? Even though he's probably trailing on the cards. Well, he's even though he's only had 19 fights, he's boxed at a higher level, he's boxed at a championship level before, so he knows it's a long night ahead. Yeah, he's defended this title twice uh, so far. Last March against uh, Bethuel Bishona, who was previously unbeaten in Namibian, and he's mixed it in fair company. And he went 12 distance with Jan Zavek, who has been in the likes of Andrew Berto, and, and he lost a split decision to Rafael Djakovic as well. Kel Brook, you may recall, became the first to stop him on his way up recently. So there's no doubt Vassell's got the pedigree, the higher form. And he's just getting into it, a bit of afters at the end of the third, and that might have the crowd on their feet. Talking to from the referee. That was a tight one, Barry, how'd you score that? I, I scored that to Dent of Vassell, I just think he, he drew Heffern into his sort of fight, didn't he? They, again, just showing a bit of work by both fighters, landing again simultaneously with the right hand. First. Again, I just think Vassell done the, the better work in that round. And Heffern needs to work behind his jab again. First impression for Denton Vassell, and relatively early as well. Ronnie Heffron, I think he knew it before, didn't he? But he knows it now for sure that he's in a fight. Long, long way to go, Dean. Paul in that corner, plenty of experience, of course. Matchmaking and corner work. Anthony Fernell as well, who once upon a time was winning world titles in this very ring. Well, you could, you could hear Dean Powell, can you, you know, thinking the same of us, that Fasella had drawn Heffron into his sort of fight and asked him to keep it long. Double jabs and right hands. I guess the thing is with Vasselli, he always kind of stays in range, but even when he's boxing from distance, he's still in range. Yeah, but that, that's where fainting comes in, a lot of feints. And then little half steps back, little turns to the left, little turns to the right. Just don't make it... Even though he closes the gap very well, don't make it easy for him. Well, I'll tell you what, there was, there was talk of sort of how many tickets would they sell. Remember, Hatton packed them in, what is it, 14,000 or whatever here last weekend, but they've done well at the, the gates and they're in plenty early enough, which is good, not just for Flintoff, but this. This is real stuff and hopefully plenty of people, whether they're new viewers or just uh, casual observers here at ringside will perhaps fall in love with the sport when they see what it's all about because this is a cracking little match-up between Denton Vassell and the Black Shorts and Ronnie Heffron. And it's got the Irish trickler on one side and the Union Jack on the other. Again, even though Heffron's trying to work behind his jab, I think he's put a little bit too much weight behind it and he's not struggling for pace maybe, but you know, he's had to be more economical because he's putting too much, too much emphasis and energy behind those shots, but he can just flick that jab out and then load up with the backhand rather than with the jab. And you can see how far apart Heffron's legs are. He's not sort of designed to dance out of distance. No, it's all for generating power, isn't it, a wide stance? Well, he's a big follower of Ricky Hatton. He was his hero when he was growing up, followed him and almost modelled his style on him, hence the, the aggressive body-punching attack that's been a feature of his... Uh, upwards spiral through the ranks in 11 victories so far. There's a terrific body shot when he took out Yodit Illy at the bowlers uh, earlier on in 2012. He's won three out of three so far. All well, that sort of relative freshness this year over Vassell count. And big right hand from Vassell, he's starting to get through. I think Vassell looks much, much more sort of comfortable with the pace, Barry. Yeah, looks pretty good. He's working well, isn't he? Moving well. I just think Heffron's just loading up a little bit too much and slightly telegraphing the shots. I think um, Vassell can see him coming more than he could maybe in that, in that good second round that Heffron had. Well, one thing you know is that 
usually, and we say usually, given the absence, Dente Vassell comes on strong. Another right hand manages to get through as well from Vassell. He's been the 12 round distance on three occasions. His Commonwealth title fight so far. This is his fourth. And at the end of that fourth, as he as he leveled things up, I suspect the Bob Shannon corner will be happy. Certainly Denton Vassell looks non-plus, doesn't he? He looks relaxed and, and comfortable. Big smile with his corner. Yeah, he looks relaxed, doesn't he? And uh, I think they'll be happy with, with what's going on at the moment. Well, what are Freddie's pals and work colleagues? That's John Bishop, isn't it, from a league of their own on Sky. He's here to watch his pal. I suspect he's pretty nervous. None of our two fighters have been quite out on their own just yet. And there's certainly not a league between this pair. It's paper-thin tie, Barry. Yeah, well, I have it level, and it's the sort of fight we expected, wasn't it? A very close fight fought at close quarters also. That's a good jab there from Heffern. More of that, definitely. Well, there's no doubt that Vassell, as the fighter who's been in the top division, Ronnie Heffron's just been promoted, if you like, with everyone getting excited about him winning a championship. Tonight's the night. Well, you know, every prospect needs a test at certain times in their career, and obviously Anthony Farnell thought this was the time. I'll tell you what, Vassell is timing that right hand beautifully. He just... He just dodged the jab and countered it immediately, starting to find that, that punch. And then straight after that straight right hand over the top, he landed with a nice little right hook to the body. And again, there, a left screw shot from Fassell. As you said, Alex, he's starting to find the range a little bit more. Oh, big right hand there as well. You heard that back up the top. Ronnie Heffron finding the target. Well, this is the, it's what they call a trade fight, the one that everyone, newspapers, the magazines were really looking forward to. And I, I think if you'd pulled any of them, that it was 50-50. They really couldn't, even up in Liverpool, nice Steve Lance and Steve Lillis were split one way and t'other. Yeah, but a nice little uh, flurry there from Heffron, four sh straight hard shots that got through the guard of Fassell. And they're the sort of combinations that in a close round, Alex will win you the fight, or the round at least. It's going to be tight, but you sense there might be a little drama through the second half. Double jab from Heffron. I think his corner will be pleased enough that he's not got caught up in the occasion, Heffron. He's tried to box smart. not quite landing with that right hand over the top. Good left hook to the body there from Vassell. Yeah, I think that was low too. Just below the belt. Just, but when they get up close, big right hand again from Vassell. That's two, if not three, of those this round. And in a tight round, those are perhaps enough to win you it. He's winning the jabs. Now as well, Vassell and Heffron forced to back off. Worrying moments, big uppercut, missed by a whisker. Vassell's on top here. I don't think Heffron's hurt, but I think he's struggling for pace slightly, having to work so hard. The referee just separating him and telling Heffron to keep his punches up. The one or two that strayed, but, well, they were so close up and an interested spectator for now. Barry McGuigan, of course, the mentor of Freddie Flintoff. He's been here so many times before, but and we spoke to him early on. I think he's even more nervous than it was when he was fighting himself. But it's out of his hands now, isn't it? He's done all the work and helped the fighter out, and it was out of his hands, and that's why you get nervous. But showing the good work there from Heffron, and he landed with a good right hand as well on its own. But for me, I just think Dent Vassell throughout the round and the better work, and that's why he edged that round to Vassell. And that's three on a spin now for him. Yeah, I think our scorecards are identical. I've got it 48 47 as well for Vassell, who's just starting to take over after that really good start. For Ronnie Heffron, he might have to come up with a plan B. They're still close rounds, though, aren't they? You know what I mean? They're very subjective, I guess. Here we go, then. 
into the sixth, approaching halfway in this 12-round Commonwealth title fight at welterweight. 147 pounds, or 10 stone seven to you and me. If you look at Denton Vassell, he's like carved out of a lump of granite, isn't he? He looks surely heavier than that. Yeah. And a good right uppercut there from Vassell. A shot really Heffron shouldn't be getting caught with from onto range, being the taller fighter. And a lovely right to the body from Vassell, but he was countered by a straight right from Heffron, and it's give and take now. Again, Heffron just loading up, wasn't he? It's a little bit too much, that's all. There's only, only little fractions in it, but he's just loading up a little bit too much. Where Vassell is nice and relaxed. He's had that right from the outset, big right hand from Vassell, and the legs just wobbled briefly from Heffron, who's looking a little tired. This is definitely the game for Denton Vassell. Again, that right hand sneaking through the guard. And uh, I think the first and the final say in these exchanges coming from Purcell. They, they call him the boxing banker, that's his, that's his day job. He's certainly bit by bit piling on the points. Can he cash in those chips? Well, he's having a lot of success, isn't he? But he still, just can't, he still has to be careful because Heffron can. And oh, oh, massive uppercut! And another one, two on the bounce. Referee steps in. He has always oh, he stopped it. Yes, he has. He has to almost out on his feet, Ronnie Heffron. And it was those two straight uppercuts. He's not quite sure where he is. Only for now. He didn't go down. He can't give him a standing eight count. So the referee stepped in, and Denton Vassell will retain his Commonwealth title fight. Well, there are boos ringside, and there have been one or two uh, perhaps controversial refereeing decisions in the recent weeks, but there's no doubt Ronnie Heffron was hurt, absolutely no doubt. He was hurt, he got caught with a nice little uppercut, didn't he? Oh, look at that, it's a cracking left, up, left uppercut, and a right uppercut. He all but, all but went down, he didn't quite... The referee, he looked as though he was hesitating briefly, well, the referee went to jump in, looking like Heffron was going to go hit the floor, and when he, he held on to Vassell's waist to stay up, the referee was caught in the middle, if you like, and when Heffron turned his back, I guess the referee thought Heffron was in no state to continue. I mean, he, he didn't know where he was, Ronnie Heffron. Uh, no surprise. No surprise. There are boos ringing round. He didn't go down. So the, the referee either lets the fight go on or he stops it. It's simple as that. Well, yeah, especially where Heffron turned his back. You, you would tend to think if Heffron maybe would have went down and took an eight count, he right. might have been OK. Uh, pe listen, people have their, their own opinions on that and their, their right to. Robert Smith of the British Boxing Board of Control, right on. I, I think I just saw him nod his head to the referee. I think that stoppage was fine, personally. I think Heffron, potentially, he was standing up, but he would have taken more punishment. Yeah, uh, he you're drawn by no, it. No, he, he was definitely hurt, and, and you know, and he, he was on his way down. You just think that maybe, I think, I think the referee thought he was going down. That's why the referee was ready to, to put Vassell in the corner to make take up the count. And then when when Heffron sort of just kept his feet somehow, I think the referee was caught in between. I don't think he would have started. I think he would have given the count and maybe stopped the fight after that. But there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after 1 minute 56 seconds of round 6, the referee has stopped the contest. Ronnie Heffron in no position to defend himself, leaving the winner and the still the world weight champion of the Commonwealth, Denton Vassell. Denton Vassell with two wicked uppercuts in the sixth round. Retains his Commonwealth title. Third defence is a successful one, and despite the year out of the game, he's back with a bang. Champion Benton Vassell. Vassell, Vassell.